Hello, this is Cyber Dragon. Today I'm going to talk about Robinhood investment. What it is, is an investment app which you can act use on your phone or on the computer. And it's available to download on Google Play Store and Apple Play Store. On the first free promotion, they'll give you one free stock. You choose any stock you want. And they don't charge you commission fees. All they charge you is they just want you to load in your money. You pay maybe a maintenance fee so that for the maintenance for your account. And you can trade stocks, ETFs, which are electronic transfer funds, options, as well as buy and sell cryptocurrencies with their Robinhood crypto, which is a separate transaction and they have a fee schedule for the cost okay while it waits let's see there's gold pricing cash management fee schedule okay let's see what the fee schedule okay for stock option ETF the balance is nothing return checks Okay, only if you have if your check uh, bounced, you have to pay the fee for it. The A cat outgoing doesn't really specify what it is. Wire transfers. Oh, so wire transfers like within your country, let's say U.S. Anywhere U.S. Let's say from New York to Chicago, one fee twenty five dollars, which is pretty much uh, wired straight to your bank. So they pay you through PayPal, bank wire transfers, basic. International, if you want overnight. If not overnight, it can take about like a few business days. Oh yeah, they do have trading fees. Oh okay, per one million dollars up to the nearest penny. So only if you uh, trade for like a million dollars, let's say you buy a million dollars of the share, you sell it. The most you'll pay is $22.10. It's not very expensive. And the cost per share is pretty much like zero. Okay, and they're no greater than $5.95 on the TAF. You can do Paper statement is five bucks. Paper confirmation is two dollars. They mostly charge you for overnight if you do buy paper. If you not do buy paper and you do it through online, it's pretty much free. They only charge you for like transfer funds to your bank accounts. That's all they charge you for. Okay, right, Robinhood Gold is good for thirty days. Who's up to a thousand dollar margin? Anything over a thousand dollar is pay five percent of that sale. Say two thousand dollars, five percent. Small. Okay, so they don't charge you for restricted accounts, worthless uh, security, voluntary actions. Okay, the legacy pricing is depend on your how much money you put inside the account. You put two thousand dollars or above. They have a set amount of pricing, which is provided for thirty days. And if you want to borrow money, like fifty thousand, they charge you a five percent APR. And they have cash management. Okay, they don't charge you for card fees, foreign transaction fees. Okay, if you decide, uh, if you choose to pay a foreign debit card. Transaction, they won't charge you a foreign transaction fee for it. For ATM fee is zero. If you want to withdraw your money from an ATM machine, hundred percent free. So maintain account maintenance, zero dollars. Right, see what else that. Okay, you can invest any amount. All you gotta do is enter your email to get a link. And create an account online or on your mobile app. You build your portfolio. 
and adjust uh, the amount of risk you want to take. And it'll tell you like, uh, okay, for trading this company, what's the level of risk? Low, medium, or high? And you trade it in real time. So you can trade pretty much all over the world. In the U.S., open stock exchange, open at 8, close at 4 p.m. So you can keep tabs of your money. Okay, you manage the portfolio. Provide you with information. Okay, and you earned any money you want uninvest cash will get 0 0.30 APR. So they'll give you money for just keeping your account active, even if you're not invest. A lot of times, you get 0.3, which is one dollar. 0.3 of that, three pennies. Okay, and it'll explain every information for you. About them, they also offer jobs. You apply, become one of their financial experts. Company is relatively new, been in the market for about five to ten years. Okay, if you want to understand, so stocks and funds. Okay, you want to learn more. Okay, doesn't really go anywhere. It just explains the same information. And it tell you when to buy and sell. Okay, you can do short-term trade, which is usually like few hours, few minutes to about one month, three months is a short-term trade. Long-term trade is three months to one year and you can do you can buy low sell high all you got to do is understand the charts and watch the news like CNN Bloomberg business news to uh, it is like something happening around the world that could affect the stock for options you have a lower risk Stocks are risky, but all you got to do is pay attention to the charts and always set like you can set like, okay, you want to get in at this time and then when you want to get out and minimize your stop loss. I'll provide some descriptions on some of their uh, fee schedules and everything, what I can based on the website. Okay, let's see what else they have. Can learn from them and maybe provide the training course for you. Okay, give you some basic information how to invest. So they'll give you you can invest as low as one dollar. And they have some articles online, current ones from 2020. Okay, and then it'll teach you how to uh, understand uh, when to buy, when to sell, explain the charts for you. I'll provide the link below. And then explain what an index fund is, iron condor. They're like mostly like uh, different trading techniques. And how, what is a balance sheet? Okay, what a balance sheet is, is how much money you're bringing in, how much, what's the cost, and whatever left over is your profit. That's what a balance sheet is. It's usually used in accounting, so. Common stock will provide the ownership of the company, some voting rights, how much they pay for shareholders. And they also have some information about Forex if you want to trade currency. And they have in multiple languages, so it'll be easy to understand. All you gotta do is you don't have to do, create like a lot of charts. They have like indicators for you. You can create your own charts and figure out like how many uh, pips or like how many points. Same thing for stock. Same concept, but trade different way. One is based on company stock, based on their value of their products and services they've signed. Currency is based on uh, economic, how much businesses make in the long run. And 
what can affect the currency value. It could be like something bad news, like oh, something happened in the meat industry that can affect economic shift. Okay, and it'll tell you what is a profit, the basic information, how to balance transfer, control your debt, futures. Futures is about commodities, which is like basic everyday things you use, like corn. Corn are popular in the summer, so it's best to buy in the summertime. And so, let's say buy in June. Sell in August. Uh, when to buy sugar and coffee. Coffee is used every time around. But it's usually in high peak. Mostly it will be about winter time when people use it, use it to warm themselves up and keep alert. And it, also summertime is best to buy coffee because the harvest comes. It's going to be like when it's a busy season. Prices are too high. Better than market value. You want cheap ones. And they have information you can apply for loans so from the government to lend money from a house or some friends. Friends, you don't need to pay interest very high. You can choose that. Let's say, all right, you borrow a thousand dollars. Said I'll pay you five percent interest. So a thousand dollars, five percent interest. That's about five bucks, or a little bit more. Okay, they'll tell you what companies was the initial public offering. It'll explain how to trade options. Options are just a little different from stocks, but they're relatively low risk and easier to trade. And it'll describe like NASDAQ, Fortune 500, and so forth. They'll also exchange trade fund, oh, ETF, not electronic trade fund. Okay, that's a little different. They'll talk about different types of companies, their sectors. You talk about Dow Jones and how can you get tax exemptions. Okay, you can get tax exemptions if used like uh, used for businesses. You buy something for the business, like a computer, is tax deductible, but it's not exempt. It's only exempt if uh, you if you make less money. If you're losing money, you're pretty much exempt from paying taxes. So at the end of the year, after you file for your yearly federal income, you'll get a percentage money back for on your losses. But you're not getting hundred percent. But they'll give you about fifty to eighty percent. And let's see. And I'll teach you uh, how to look for like scams, uh, Ponzi schemes. Be careful of online predators because they'll try to trick you for your personal information. How to avoid Ponzi schemes? Use who is. I have a video dedicated to it on how to use it. All you gotta do is copy the web link and verify if it's true and use Google search engine to verify if there's any scams with it or not and is everything relevant sometimes there is not and you can the who on the company there's phone number there's basic uh, techie stuff but and some basic information okay let's see what else and it'll tell you what chief financial offer should do which they manage money for the company like how much to invest in stocks, when to purchase some stuff okay, they'll talk about financial literacy basic financial okay, how to do a budget how to spend for advertisement on a business format and so forth Okay, year to date is like how much in one year you make this set amount of money. And I'll tell you also like how to prepare for retirement. How much to like, uh, let's say, okay, every profit you make, take all your profit out. Leave about like 20% for investments, 80% keep it in your pocket. And also invest in like 
if you invest in bonds, you'll make money in the long run, but it's just like shorter. If you do government bonds, you'll make money, but it just takes longer time and you can't get out until a certain time frame, which is specified. And it also has a lot of information on what is insurance and how to uh, save money on insurance. If you change insurance every year, your insurance costs will go lower. That's a proven fact. If you compare, like, let's say, car insurance. Every year, okay. No car accident, nothing happens. And, okay, let's say $500 for six months. What's say $1,000 a year for one company. Okay, example of a company, State Farm. And then if you switch to uh, Trump, let's say... Geico. You can save about a few hundred dollars, but sometimes only about a hundred, two hundred dollars, which is good. If you do that every year, it continues to decrease, but they won't decrease. There will be like a minimum amount that companies will make money off. If you have good drivers, you pretty much can get additional discount for doing bundles as well. Or like car and house or car house and then like a rental for a boat or something okay it pretty much teach you everything about basic business model one and how to make money on nonprofit organizations oh okay, what nonprofit is you still make money you just pay for employee and cost. You can get 20% you keep for operational use. 80% is mostly given away, which is eligible for tax deductions. See, basic economics, weighing pros and cons, collateral. When you take out a loan, there always will be a collateral. So, you gotta choose your collateral very carefully. Okay, cash flow, self employment, globalization, inheritance tax. Okay, when you wanna like transfer money from this person to the next person, like after the person passed away or they transfer the company over, you have to prepare in advance and Write a will, basic documentation, have a lawyer, review it, see it's 100% following the law. When you transfer it over, you'll pay tax, but it, it usually pays about 30-40%, but sometimes the government can charge a lot, but they're not going to charge a lot to, how much you get nothing, you will still get something. But uh, it's best uh, you transfer like part of the business, so you won't be transferring as a lot. If you give as a gift, you can be tax deductible. Okay, they teach you everything about business, from house, how to manage your house, income. They have over a. And I'll provide the link down below. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.